unbelievable for me to think that you got up this morning, despite the suffering and chaos that is life. The chaos of self-orientation. How do I place myself in the world? The chaos of value. How do I know that my life is meaningful or that I am loved? The chaos of school. How do I make the most of the opportunities that present themselves to me? The chaos of death. How do I recover from the death of a loved one or even prepare for my own? In this talk, I want to give you a lens through which to consider the chaos of life. Now suppose, in the course of my talk, you get bored, and reasonably, you want to throw a cut at my face. Well, why not? Depending on where you are seated in the audience, you would be able to approximate just how much you would turn your hand. Now, even if you have never liked physics before, or perhaps might not be able to show me the math behind your throwing, you could still determine just how fast you will throw. Now, before you walk out to grab that cat, let's talk about something I find interesting. We have a profound intuition, a sense of understanding of our physical world. We know, for example, that the closer you are to a perfume, the stronger the fragrance would be. Or perhaps that different sounds could be produced on a guitar depending on the thickness of the string. Now hearing these examples, of course, sound trivial. They are so common and natural to us that someone pointing them out seems needless. So natural, in fact, that you could be playing a game of soccer, making thousands and thousands of mathematical computations in your mind, and still flunk your calculus test the next day. <laughs> this is interesting, but maybe not so impressive. Because if you think about it, even the house fly at your home has intuitions as well. You spot it in your kitchen. Then you sneak up towards it, raising up your room with malicious intent. And Mr. Housefly knows just how much and how fast to move to make you question your efforts. Making you try again severally and reacting to each scenario accordingly. If this medicine housefly has intuitions about the physical world, then maybe it's not so impressive that you do as well. But you know what would be more impressive, at least to me? What would be more impressive is if you had intuitions about the strange concepts that give rise to the physical world. When we look at the world around us, we are mesmerized by the order we see, the fine-tuned exactitudes of the orbits of the planets, the golden ratios of arrangements of flowers on trees, the miracle of birth, but what about the world we do not see that fundamentally gives rise to the world we do see? Would it not be more impressive to gain intuitions for that world? Perhaps in our case, the quantum world. That strange microscopic world made up of fundamental particles whose actions and inactions and interactions predict what goes on in the world around us. I think it would be more impressive if we had as deep a sense of understanding of that world. But the problem, however, is that that world is counterintuitive. It's so far detached from our day-to-day -day understandings of the world. You take, for example, the theory of quantum entanglement, that two particles could be separated from each other by far distances and still behave in a way that is correlated. What kind of world is that? Or perhaps wave-particle duality, that today light is a wave, tomorrow it's a particle, and next week both. Hmm. Or how is it that in quantum tunneling, as far as a particle has certain conditions met, it's able to tunnel through walls? Who gives permission to this world to behave in this way? 
The quantum world is an ambiguous one. It's in every sense a wanderer. It's floating in its own space, obeying its own rules, and having a mind of its own. It is beyond amazing for me to think that the vast order we see around us could be in some sense a fundamental product of this world of vast chaos and ambiguity. Now enough of all the science talk. Let me not attract that category for you. However, I do have a question. What if the realities of the world of quantum physics could be true in daily life? That vast order could be a product of what is vast chaos and ambiguity. What if these realities could be true in your life? That meaning and order could be produced from inherent wandering through the chaos of the undefined. Let's go on that. Thank you.